in this video i am going to talk about the knn regression so what is knn regression the knn stands for the k uh, nearest neighbors uh, and this is a special type of regression uh, which uh, takes uh, k nearest um, you know training data points and finds out the prediction um, so it's known as the k nearest neighbors regression so let's try to understand what is knn regression uh, with the help of an example so uh, there are two variables age and weight so our uh, objective is to predict um, age of an individual uh, by taking help of his weight okay so age is a function of weight so that's is that's the regression that we want to do so if you want to do a linear regression on that so how how, how is that going to be uh, well age will be in the y axis um, and then um, weight is going to be in the x axis and then uh, you will have the regression something like this right you will try to fit a linear regression line uh, to the data points and find uh, and thereby you can find out what is the age for a given weight so this is the parametric form of uh, doing a regression knn regression on the other hand is non parametric that means there is no regression function in this case in like in the case of linear regression you have a straight line uh, which which you know predicts um, age by taking uh, weight it's not going to be the same in knn so how is it going to be it's lot easier and and uh, it's very simple approach so here is the way so there is no least square or anything of that sort in knn so if we want to do a knn regression how is 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 that going to be so uh, let's say we want to directly predict uh, the weight of uh, an individual um, sorry the age of an individual uh, when the weight is 56 so using knn regression uh, what is the age of the individual well first uh, we need to see that what are the nearest neighborhood uh, of uh, weight now we do not have a uh, weight of an individual uh, whose weight is uh, 56 right so what is the closest of uh, the closest individual uh, to 56 uh, the closest number is 54 so the weight uh, or the age corresponding to the number 54 is 24 hence since uh, this is the closest uh, individual we um, uh, predict that the age of the individual uh, with uh, weight 56 is 24 now we have taken only one observation in this case now if we want to take uh, two closest observation the closest closest will be uh, this one and this one right uh, 24 and 25 right 54 and 52 are very closest to 56 uh, 60 is also closest next closest so now we have got three closest uh, individual so how do we predict uh, their cor uh, the corresponding age uh, with respect to the weight 56 so we simply uh, take the average of uh, all three edges 24 25 and 30 so the uh, uh, is uh, is now 24 plus 25 plus 30 uh, divided by 3 so that's um, you know 79 by 3 so which is uh, nothing but 26.3 okay so the age of the individual with weight 56 is nothing but 26.3 from the knn regression now k in this case so k in this case is 3 so first we tried it 1 now it's 3 so uh, now the question is what is the optimal uh, number of k or optimal number of nearest uh, neighborhoods uh, nearest observation that one should consider well there is uh, uh, you know there is nothing uh, optimal as such um, uh, it depends on the problem at hand uh, and it could vary from 1 to 9 1 to 
15 something like that so it depends on so many things so let's put it in theory let's generalize it so uh, theoretically kn regression can be uh, presented like this uh, we want to predict um, at a prediction point x0 like in this in in our example the prediction point was 56 right the weight was 56 we wanted to predict the age of an individual with uh, weight 56 and then we'll take k uh, training observation closest to x0 like in the case we took three observation closest observation to the weight 56 52 uh, you know uh, and then 54 and 60 in our in our previous example and then we take the average of average of the uh, training observations okay so theoretically the y hat at x0 is nothing but the uh, average of uh, you know yi uh, which which is uh, you know the k nearest yi uh, to the given uh, observation okay and what is the optimal value of k uh, it depends as i have already said um, so one should ensure that the k should be chosen in such a way that the error rate uh, or the error is minimum um, if you have a training and testing data set training and test data set so you, one should take the k uh, or the k uh, nearest neighbor uh, such that the test error is minimum okay so uh, that's about knn uh, regression so how is it related to linear regression well knn regression has higher prediction power because it's non parametric it doesn't assume any functional form like a linear regression uh, we assume that it's a straight line but most of the times the observations will have non linear form okay there will be quadratic forms and so on so quadratic form could be you know such like so if you fit a linear regression line it's not going to fit properly but non uh, the knn regression doesn't assume any uh, you know functional form so it takes uh, values nearer to the uh, given you know uh, for which we want to predict and then it directly takes the average from the kth nearest values but it has also disadvantages like uh, you know it it could possibly overfit sometimes if the k value is uh, less like if you take k is equal to 1 then in that case uh, you, you will only be simply be uh, joining the values joining the data points now it perfectly fits the data point when k is equal to 1 uh, sometimes but it, it is overfitting that means the test error is going to be very high or the variance of the error uh, estimates um, is going to be very high so uh, you know one should be very careful while taking uh, the uh, the k value so uh, the linear regression function uh, which uh, may not give a correct prediction in the case of non-linearity uh, is actually better than knn when uh, the actual form is linear say for example we have a data form the uh, it is linearly distributed so in that case linear regression will perform better than knn but in a case where it is uh, highly non-linear then knn will perform better so that's the rule of thumb 